hello ladies uh welcome to my channel i am back again with a flip through uh this is an altered journal and it is about turtles or the majority are um like i said it's an altered journal using the crafty irena's method on this book actually what i do is i keep six pages and then i tear out eight so keep six tear out eight and you know that thins it out very well so that then I am able to um, decorate um, the book. Um, it has a um, handmade charm, um, dangle I should say, with different sea life charms on there. Um, so you can see that turtles, um, starfish, or sea stars I should say. And um, it's um, the majority of the images from here are from Pinterest. And since it is a gift and I don't sell anything, everything I make, I give it away. Um, so let's see what we have here. I have actual seashells, very tiny ones. Um, and I have some burlap here and um, music paper and scraps of a blouse that I purchased that I think went well with this book for the coloring. So inside we have just lace pocket and inside the pocket we have some tags. This tag uh, was made, it's a double tag and it was made from my Cricut machine. I received one a year ago and you know, I'm still having uh, issues with it cause I'm still learning how to work it. Um, you know, I still belong in a dinosaur era. So anything technology wise, just, you know, it's really hard for me to learn. Um, so with fibers and lace there, uh, more pictures of, um, of a turtle. And like I've said in my previous, um, videos, what I do with my, uh, pictures is I sew around, uh, and I add the notebook papers from all the journals that I, you know, take out the pages that I tear out. I keep it so I'm able to sew on to the back of my ephemera to do more writing space for people there. So, um, and this, since she is a little young, young lady, um, I thought, you know, to include these from a planner kit. So hopefully she can personalize it or do whatever she wants with it in the journal. And here's another picture. It's just a um, picture from Pinterest. And I have a background of craft paper where I did some embossing on it. And here are scraps of uh, lace and some cheesecloth and fibers with a sticker of uh, roses. And then in the back, we have a journaling card, which starts off with the uh, turtle symbolism. And, you know, making this journal, I really learned a lot about, you know, turtles and what they mean. And, you know, I really like that, you know, with it, what, you know, they represent. But my favorite part is ancient wisdom. You know, I remember my dad always saying that it's better to be wise than to be smart. And I've always thrived to have wisdom. Not there yet, though. So here's a corner tuck, something different. I did a circle of it. And it's an envelope, actually, that I made a mistake. So I didn't want to um, throw it away. So what I did is I just cut it into a curve here and then used it as a corner tuck on this page. And so I have some journaling cards for her. Uh, some of these cards are from, um, it's called Prima Paper Golden, Golden Coastal or something like that. Um, sorry, ladies, I forgot. I tend to forget the names of things. Okay, let's go on. Here is, it says, try to be like the turtle at ease in your own skin. And it's a little corner flower here with scraps of, you know, paper, lace, and then just some little tags in there. A little tiny one of a turtle. Then I have here a uh, Wendy's Adventures um, envelope, uh, altered envelope. So I put some writing paper, glued it on to there, and I, you know, onto this page it goes. 
and here on the side here is the little tag that you pull out and it's some more turtles i think there should be something in here too inside the envelope yeah a little inspirational note for her so there we have that then on this page it's the prima uh, paper and here i have a glassine bag this is a sticker of a seahorse on corrugated paper with cheesecloth and this beautiful flower that was gifted to me already tea dyed um, in one of my swaps. So that's the glassine bag. This is the Patricia Vida Montes corner tuck. She has really good tutorials on how to do a lot of little tucks and pockets. Um, just a really pretty picture of um, uh, seashells and the um, seahorse here. So that goes there. Uh, here's uh, some sheet. This uh, sheet of uh, music paper is from 1948, so it's very vintage. Uh, I glued it onto the back of this page before I glued it down. And here I have some um, tiny envelopes with some wax sealed with her initials. Her name is Ariana. So, um, you know, that's the A for Ariana, and it has some cheesecloth. And inside it's more of those tags from that paper pad. So it's that one says find me under the palms and the next page here is a pocket here with the tag more um, more um, stuff about or symbolism or uh, advice I guess from turtles um, and the journaling cards all my journaling cards the bigger ones I do the sewing around it by sewing the papers that I pull out from journals so for more writing writing space for them and then here is a little corner tuck on this pocket here it's a little um, seashell with cheesecloth corrugated paper and a little tag of a little turtle and then here you actually untie this here and then it's a flip out so more writing space for secret writing you know hopefully i need to explain that to her and let her know she can open that up too and here on this page i cut the paper a lot smaller than the original page so compensating for that i just glued some lace here so it looks like you know that it's okay that's how we correct our mistakes this page has two tags. The tags um, have some stenciling on it and um, they have some ribbon and these I did some twine on it. And then let's flip those over. So here's another tuck using turtles with cheesecloth here in the bottom and actual little tiny seashells. They're really cute little seashells. And on the back, we have a journaling tag made with my Cricut as well. I'm learning, so I learned how to uh, have uh, writing on it with a marker from the Cricut. And then here is more uh, advice from Turtles. There, let's turn the page here. Um, on this page, I used this... Um, uh, scraps from a blouse that I have purchased at a second-hand store so I really liked it because they looks like they have waves so if I flip that over it exposes this beautiful um, beautiful beautiful picture of the bottom of the sea ocean life there and with um, the flower and fibers and the little word that says sweet on burlap. Um, this here is a little different from the whole book. I <laughs> I was trying to figure out what to do with uh, these envelopes that I put on here. And um, they, I didn't want my book to get any thicker. So um, as you can see, I don't have any embellishments. So what I did is I just added some stickers on it. And just, um, you know, notebook paper in there as well. And so, 
this is the way it looks. I know it kind of doesn't go. I didn't have any more stickers to do Sea Life. But, you know, here it's a, a paper pad and it says treasure map. So I I did just this little strip of um, uh, paper and it says treasure yesterday, live for today and dream of tomorrow. So I thought that went well with, you know, treasure map. And um, then this is some more of the journaling uh, tags from that paper pad. So hopefully she can write some stuff in here that she really treasures. So I don't know. I'm not too happy with using roses on there, but I hope it's not too much of a notice for her. <laughs> Here is uh, a mermaid printed onto typewriter paper from many, many years ago. And, you know, it actually makes it look like it's a napkin um, because the way it's just printed on there. So it's really, really pretty. And uh, this is a turtle prayer also included on here for her. This is a glassine bag. Um, I did some embossing on craft paper. Then I did some na napkin decoupage. Let me get this paper clip off of there. And it's just cheesecloth and just a little word there, happy, and more of that um, stickers of those flowers. Some twine there. So it's a glassine bag. I did not glue it down because I'm thinking maybe she'll just take it out and not put it in again because uh, it's just a, a getting really thick this journal uh, life takes time it's an altar journal there's a little seashell there with um, what does it have on here a little charm at the end with a little turtle actually a sea turtle so that's there Uh, this is a doily that I cut in half. I believe that's tatting. Um, so I don't want to do anything with it. Just left it as it is. And here's more of that paper from Prima. And here all I did was um, added this little, um, a little banner. It says, what a wonderful world. And with some little journaling um, tags there. Or cards, I should say. But it's just so beautiful. I didn't want to really cover it up or do much with it. It's pretty paper, really pretty. On this page, I did the Rita Donnelly uh, corner tuck. And here's for more writing. Just very simple. And inside the pocket, it's more advice or inspiration from the turtle. And then this one is a seahorse, really beautiful sea creatures there so that goes there a lace side pocket here with some more tags and journaling cards this one says don't quit la vida loca on this one and underneath is um more of that prima paper and then another mermaid playing with the turtles there we go for this paper. So it makes it really, look at the lace, really pretty. And, and this is the last pocket here. Same thing as the beginning. Mermaids with turtles and some tags that I got from a planner. And um, little banner tags there. And then here's an altered paper clip. Uh, with uh, more of a turtle with inspirational um, or recommendations or advice with her initials there. So that's an altered paper clip. So that's it. Like I said, it's an actual journal that I alter. I did some corner metal corners there to protect the corners. So this is the actual cover of the book. Just the front of it is, you know, altered. And there it is. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching.